for the physicians at Parkway Medical Group. Our jobs are more than a job, it's a calling. Let's see if this pacemaker is still beating the rhythm that we want it to beat. Lee became a patient of mine a little more than 15 years ago. Okay, take a nice even breath, mouth open. If anybody had an excuse, it would be Lee. I mean, here's a man with his one good arm that oftentimes has to help his wife dress in the morning. I've wheeled a one-arm drive wheelchair for 35 years. I would leave my chair at the garage door and uh, hop around, and that's how I got around in the house. That's why I have a little arthritis in there today. Recently, Lee went into the hospital with, with heart failure, um, had a pacemaker put in, had pneumonia. You know, he's lost his left arm below the elbow, both legs above the knee, um, deals with chronic pain issues. He's had surgeries, both abdominal, chest surgery. It, it's, it's more than, than we as individuals, even so now it's more uh, than I as a physician can almost imagine dealing with. My friend and I, we had gone hunting. We hunted on a uh, army base up there, the old Pine Camp, but now it's called Camp Drum. Then it was closed up, nobody was there. We come across this impact area. Somehow I, I hit something and it blew up. It was God's gift that it was an armor-piercing shell because armor-piercing shells get very hot. And what happened is they cauterized a lot of my wounds. Doctor said, well, you'll never live. I told them, I says, well, that's up to the Lord. What was that, about five years ago you had your neck surgery? Well, five years ago. I've talked to Lee at times about how, how do you cope at home, particularly uh, this came up uh, several years ago after neck surgery where he had a fusion done. So I asked him about what about a really uh, disabled uh, apartment or, or a home for you. The Lord really impressed on my heart that something needs to be done for Lee to help him. I called and, and told Penny we wanted to build an apartment for Lee in, in their full daylight basement. It was an answer to prayer. It has been amazing since that happened. Plans got drawn up, people started coming in, and it's less than a year later and we have walls. When I first met Lee, it was in, he was in the hospital after a heart attack, and uh, I was so taken back by his attitude. You know, his attitude was, you know, I've been so blessed. Of, you know, <laughs> the Lord had blessed me so, and here's a guy laying here with no legs and one arm, and, uh, and I, I thought, how fortunate I am and he has not waited on the fundraising. He's just gone with it, and he keeps getting his folks involved, and things have been happening very quickly. <laughs> In fact, I hadn't met him when I committed to help. I hadn't met Lee. Uh, it was some month or so after that that I met Lee. I've had a lot of my subs involved in the project, and they've been very willing to help. It's harder for my mom to move. She had polio when she was little, and moving around on carpet is challenging. But this, floor, this space is gonna have floors where she can get around. They'll have the opportunity to go to any room in the house in a wheelchair and uh, be able to use the bathroom facilities with no problem. Cabinets that are at the level where they can work, even plugs at the level where they can plug and unplug things. And the shower facility is absolutely great. It's gonna be a roll-in shower. Sinks that help to accommodate them in their uh, electric wheelchair and the scooter. Everyday needs that we take for granted, um, but they have not had for Lee's entire 62 years of his injury, he's gonna have for the first time. We've got a great opportunity for this community to really get involved and, and participate in, in the help. And it, it don't have to be big bucks, it can be small bucks that, that makes it work. The projection is gonna be fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 to do the full um, full daylight basement apartment. He has given and given. He is not asked and, and we want to return to him. This down here is going to give us a new opportunity, a way at least being together for a while more. And that's what it's all about. 
Lee is, is a pilgrim on a journey passing through, and by golly, let's just help him as he moves through life. I'm a very fortunate guy, very fortunate.